from stakeouts to shootouts. Nerd Soul. Late Ill Kid at one yell, so holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people, today? Oh, yeah, we're coming with another wonderful episode of That's Right Talk Shop. And today, we're talking about the soul. And straight up, this whole issue is about nothing but a dumb cop, another cop that's very, very capable, and drug dealers. <laughs> and this issue is funny. A lot funnier than I expected it to be. Um, you have these two cops. Of course, you got uh, Derek and Sean. They're on this, you know, they're on a stakeout. They're minding their business. It's too hot. And he's like, look, man, I gotta get out. And once he gets out of that car from that stakeout, that's where a comedy of errors ensue. There's this, <laughs> Perkins is riding this bike, this little like weaselly drug dealer, actually ends up running into him and once he runs into him, you have this fight that is like, it's almost like a Three Stooges fight where <laughs> dude gets sand thrown in his face, the other guy gets slapped. It's, it's just so much, it's, there's so much reality in it because sometimes when you go to hit somebody or someone goes to hit you, it, it doesn't end up like you think it is. Like, you know, on TV, you like, yeah, I'm gonna hit this person, it's gonna look cool like Jackie Chan did it. No, it's not. When you go to hit somebody, it's not gonna work or you're gonna break your hand or you maybe, it might slip or something. Or in this case with, <laughs> with Derek, his leg was asleep and dude could barely run. I mean, dude was hobbling after a guy that was on a bike that could barely ride the bike himself. And it plays out in a way that I was literally giggling the whole time I was reading. And I really enjoyed how, you know, just mistakes can compound on top of other mistakes. Of course, while the other officer, and he should be ashamed of himself, Sean is just sitting there like, yeah, I told you not to get out of the car. Because now him getting out of the car to stretch out his leg has turned into this police chase that is a comedy of errors. And then, on top of this police chase, they end up blowing the case of the stakeout because now the other drug dealers know and they shooting and everybody shooting and the whole neighborhood about to get towed down. But here's what I like. During the whole shootout, there is nothing but just, it's, it's comedy that you don't expect. Like, you know, from the cover, you're like, oh, this is probably gonna be a very serious take. And there are serious issues in here but I ended up enjoying this for a whole nother reason. Like you got Derek who is just a fool. I don't even know how he got through the police academy, all right? Maybe he went to the same academy with like Hightower. But all I can say is even in his fights one-on-one, -on -one, dude tries to kick a dude in the kneecap, doesn't work. He ends up getting dang near sumo hugged or bear hugged or whatever. He has to shoot him in the leg because guy can't even handle a dude that big. All I'm saying is if you're an officer, you should know like Kempo or, or Jiu Jitsu or something. Dude, your best move is kicking him in the knee. And, and the sad part about this is even though Sean, the other officer, is sort of helping him out because he did snipe like one or two people that were shooting at him. Dude is very calm about this. He like, yo, I told you, I'm up here in the, you know, on the roof. I'm chilling because I told you not to get out of the car. It's almost like he had to teach him his lesson while he was getting his butt kicked. And it's something that I really enjoyed, even to issues like him driving a car and then tuck and roll and jumping out the window. Like there's tons of cool stuff in here that was just funny to me and I didn't expect. And it was a pleasant surprise. Now, just because a lot of moments for this were played up for comedy, doesn't mean that in, it doesn't mean in any way that this was somehow, you know, cheap or, or you know, like less than. The art is very standard. The art is very sharp in a lot of panels and looks, comes off with a very animated quality or maybe an anime quality with the way they draw like angles and like the different positions of the camera or the layout. It has a very, a very interesting quality where you're mixing the urban and the anime and you know, kind of like influences. And it's very cool. And you know, some of the headshots can get serious. So I definitely see where there's a juxtaposition between comedy and action and like serious art where 
you you kind of were caught off guard with this comedy aspect, but it had a foundation in some solid writing. I mean, writing comedy isn't as easy as you think. You know, making somebody giggle or chuckle or laugh isn't as easy as you think. And they, you know, they went a long way into not only making you laugh, but also giving you a couple of cool headshots, some fight scenes, and some, you know, some hiccups and missteps from one officer when the other officer was completely fine. So, would I recommend The Soul? Uh, yes, definitely. I think it's something that you might get a kick out of, and you'll end up laughing more than maybe you would have expected, but it's there's something there, and, and there's definitely something in the dynamic between Sean and Derek that I enjoy. It's probably more of a I'm smart and you're stupid dynamic, but I still enjoy that. I think there's a lot to get out of it, and Yo, man, I can't wait to get into issue number two, and I'll read along next week. So, guys, of course, holler at me. I'm going to holler at you. Down in them comments, let's talk about the soul. I'm very interested to see where this book goes. I had a ball with this, especially the way the issue ended. There's a lot to laugh about. So, before I bounce, I got to tell you guys to hit up thatnerdsoul.com. That's right. Check me out right there. All my videos are there from the oldest, newest, latest, greatest, and all of that. Then hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yo self up a t-shirt player and don't forget to get one for them playettes then come back here like comment subscribe and share that nerd soul that's right there is no better way that i can show people that you like what you are watching and a big shout out to la va and rva and you got my heart so please be good to yourself be good to each other and if you ever are told to stay in the car stay in the car peace